If you've spent any length of time with me here at the Time Teller channel, you know we've gone over numerous watches with dual crown designs. You know, we've seen things like the Seiko Alpinist. We've seen things like the Boulder Expedition. We've seen true super compressors, even interesting watches with little doodads like, you know, alarm functions and just knobs everywhere. That sounded kind of sexual. So although we've seen it all, we haven't seen anything quite like this. Enter the Biotic Formicity. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys are going to correct me in the comment section regardless, so... <laughs> it is 3.37 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right, we're looking at a 39 millimeter case diameter, a 47 millimeter lug to lug, a case thickness of 12 millimeters, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. So you have some options if you wanna change the strap. Now the water resistance is 200 meters, and two, not one, but two crowns set very symmetrically, uh, horizontal from, you know, just, it's like, when I saw it, it made me think of Frankenstein with the with the bolts in his neck, you know? And we should note, both crowns are threaded. Uh, ass. I need ass. Anime titties. Yeah. Demonetized. Snyder's honey mustard onion pretzel bits. Ah. <laughs> that was really stupid. The case is made from 316L stainless steel. Of course, we're getting a flat sapphire with inside AR coating. Uh, the Miota 9015 premium Miota 24 joule automatic movement is what we are looking at in regards to the caliber. And honestly, some pretty good specs. Now, before I give you any opinions, we should know that, uh, Time. Sorry, I kind of had to lock myself in there. You know, I have to give you guys a little bit of a warning before, because, okay, people don't like when I give the specs and then I start rattling off opinions before I say pros and cons. People are like, well, you should have left that for the pros and cons. Fine. Are you happy? We're in the pros and cons. Do you like robot noises, Gato, please? I don't know. Okay. Pros. Some honestly great finishing. Uh, I think this is probably a prototype that they sent us here, but from what I could see, really, really nice. The first thing that I noticed, other than those two crowns and the interesting layout, was the dial. I love how dynamic it is, the kind of uh, sloped cut all around. Looks very cool, not something you see very often. They chose to put the date window at 6 o'clock. Very nice. Another pro would be if you absolutely love symmetry. Like, if, if symmetry is a requirement, for your wristwatches, it doesn't get much more symmetrical than this. I love that they used a premium Miyota movement, so you're getting that 28,800 VPH sweep. But the biggest pro of all the pros is that they use drilled lugs. <laughs> love drilled lugs, but as excited as we can be about drilled lugs, this watch isn't perfect. Let's get into the cons. First con, regardless of wrist, wrist, which wrist, Regardless of which wrist you wear this watch on, God, how many W's do I have to say in this episode? Regardless of whichever wrist you choose to wear this watch on, it doesn't get easier. Because the crowns are on both sides of the watch, there's propensity uh, for it to jam into your wrist, okay? I don't have that problem typically because I wear watches where the crown is oriented on the right side of the case and I wear the watch on my right wrist so there's no crown up by my, my, yeah. But if you wear this watch, there's gonna be crowns on both sides and it might get a little bit, I don't know. You're too close, man. The next con, which is actually the final con, is that this is the cursive font, okay, for this watch's model name, Formicity. Uh, it's difficult to read, especially when only nerds would know what that word is anyway, right? So it's not a familiar nerd, familiar, it's not a familiar nerd, it's not a familiar word unless you are a nerd. For those of you who don't know, formicity is uh, the scientific name for ants. It's freaking ants. 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 But yeah, I didn't know what that word was, and when I first looked at the watch, I was like, 
Ferdinand. Biotic Fer Fer Ferdinand. And then I looked at the spec sheet, saw Fermicity, didn't know how to pronounce it. I was like, Fermicidae. And then I had to, you know, roll what I listened to. Formicity. Yeah, so Fermicity, whatever. Anth. They should have just called it the Biotic Anth. But all in all, guys, this is a pretty unique watch. Again, we don't really see watches uh, with crowns oriented on both sides of the case, like perfectly uh, in line with one another. So yeah, it, it's it's cool. And for the early bird pricing, just under 400 bucks. Again, that's also very cool. So if you're in the market for something unique, something functional, something with some pretty good specs and some pretty dang decent finishing, the Biotic Femicity is an option for you. But guys, let me know what you think about this watch. Let me know what you think about this review. Let me know what you think about this channel. Do you like it? Do you hate it? You'll tell me either way. Leave it in the comment section below and I will see you there. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. <laughs>